Switzerland's Justice Minister Simonetta Samruga is part of the country's executive body Keystone following revelations in the so-called Paradise Papers of questionable deals done by Swiss-based commodities companies in Africa. Switzerland's Justice Minister has said that the country, historically handsif in regulating the sector, needs new legislation to force those companies to play by the rules. If the sector cannot manage to stick to its own rules, then it needs state regulations, Justice Minister Simonetta Samruga told the Sonntag-Zeitung newspaper in an interview. Her statements came after the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists ICIJ published leaked documents from law firm Appleby which expose behind-the-scenes dealings of the commodities giant Glencorp based in Switzerland. The papers uncovered a deal involving an Israeli businessman which allowed the Katanga mining operation, in which Glencore holds a 78% stake to mine copper in the Democratic Republic of Congo at a quarter of market prices at the time. In response, Glencore said it complies with its tax obligations in line with the laws and regulations in the countries and territories in which we operate. External link pending legislation Switzerland's seven-member federal council, of which Samruga is a part, has sent an anti-corruption measure to Parliament for consideration. It would require companies in the commodities sector to publicly reveal any payments above 100,000 Swiss francs $100,398 per year. This, says Samaruga, would allow citizens in countries where the commodities sector is active to know how much money their government collects from raw materials extraction. The anti-corruption project in Parliament is a first step, Samaruga said, adding that it is based on new European initiatives that force the commodities sector to publish detailed reports. The Justice Minister specifically raised the issue of bribing foreign officials, which is illegal in Switzerland. She said that more than a quarter of cases regarding such bribery in 2016 were related to the commodities sector. Reputational damage Switzerland has generally been willing to allow commodities companies to self-regulate on issues of financial transparency. However, Samaruga said the investigations related to the Paradise Papers put the political sphere under pressure to act. If it does not, she warns of serious risks to Switzerland's reputation, while underlining it is not good to negotiate based on international pressures. The Justice Minister said that it would be very damaging for our country to find itself, yet again, under fire because of certain commercial practices. Swissinfo.ch and agencies VDV form for signing up for free newsletter. Sign up for our free newsletter and get the top stories delivered to your inbox. The following content is sourced from external partners. We cannot guarantee that it is suitable for the visually or hearing impaired. Join us on Facebook.